everyone, how are you? I'm Laura and this is day number 20 of Time to Fly, 30 days of belly dance with V. And today I will be teaching you the move of the envelope. This is a very famous, famous, famous move with the veil because of much impacting on the stage and also it's very useful to enter also other moves connected to it. I don't use it actually very much in my dances. I prefer to use the veil in a more traditional way, like the Egyptian style, that is much more free and natural. Uh, while this moves a little bit structured and let's say of the American style, but I suggest it to learn it because maybe you will love it and you will lose it, use it so much. Let's start talking about the veil. To do this move, you need a veil, maybe not silk, mine is a silk veil and so much light and maybe it's not the best one for this kind of move. You need a little bit more heavy one, can be organza for example, and I suggest you also, this is actually very very important, that your veil should have a kind of sequin border or at least a border, like better actually a border with a, in order to feel it when it's finishing because here is about the touch and the catch of your hands. In my veil there's no border as you can see, <laughs> what can we do? We, I will try anyway to explain you the move. So in this case we want to create a kind of envelope where we enter magically while turning in, inside our veil. How to do this? First of all I will teach you this uh, without uh, turning so it will be more easy. So let's catch as always our veil from the front. The first things we have to do, we have to close the two sides of the veil in this way. Let's say that has to be totally um, pair, how to say, so it becomes half. <laughs> and uh, normally I use my right, my right hand is in the closed part and my left hand is the open part. And the left is very much important because when you close it, you have to catch it in a special way. I want to show you, you have with a finger, maybe the, your index finger, you have to feel, uh, you have to put it in the middle to catch the two borders separately. I want to show you better because this is really important. So between the two veil, you, ha you have to fix your finger because this is what will manage your veil while you are dancing. So again, I open, I open up my arms more than I can, I close and when I close, I, left, I leave my finger, index finger inside the veil so I can make a hole to enter my envelope. From this position with my right, I just enter in this hole created by the finger I will show you after all from my back, don't worry. And when I enter, of course, I can dress and enter my envelope. While turning, it will become for sure more, uh, more interesting. So let's do it again from my back. Open up your veil, close the two sides in a smart way. So with your finger in the, in the inside, and then you just um, enter with your arms in the hole and of course all your body has to enter the veil in this way. From the same position you have to go out, you can go out in the same way just bringing your arms out and in this case your veil will be in the back but of course you can move it and put it back in the front. So again I enter and I go out. We will see how to do it in an elegant way. Now I just wanted to show the type of move and especially the catch of the finger. After this, I have to say, I am a little bit in difficulties with this veil, as I told you, so I really recommend you to find a veil with a border, but it doesn't matter. So again, let's open again our veil. Okay, let's try. So open up your veil and start to turn. You don't need to turn too much fast, especially in the beginning. Then you close the veil, as we said, and keep your index finger, as we told, as I told you. And with the other arms, of course, you catch the other side. From here, 
try to enter in the envelope creating a hole and of course if you want you can go out and you will find again your veil here let's try let's try again let's open up our arms turn close catch open the hole work to enter and stop and maybe you can dance doing something you can put it even up and you can turn with the veil up or if you can prefer you can make it fall down to make some move with your belly with your hips even some shimmy it's not a problem this becomes kind of frame and then you can turn back and go out from your veil in a natural way and open and here we are let's try again because i want you to become very very good in this move so maybe you can use it in your dance actually i don't know why i never use it it's a it's a cool move to to insert in our choreography again and close catch open and enter here we are dance do something doesn't matter what now we are just practicing this real move we close the envelope and we dance and we go out we turn it and we go in again why not <laughs> and dance and dance and turn and here we are and stop and move and turn and go out and here, here, here we are this was envelope move one of the most famous of course with the correct way I suggest you also that has to be bigger much big with the, maybe with the border round will be more amazing effect and with absolutely with the border that you can touch you can feel it will be easier not really sequin but strong border and the organza material I prefer for this kind of move so enjoy the envelope let me know in the comments if you like it if you have some problems if you need some suggestions I'm here thank you and see you tomorrow